I'd like to take you on a little adventure in firefighting aboard a boat. Aboard this boat we have an installed automatic fire extinguisher in the engine room and this is the indicator right here. You can see the green light means it's charged. If it had the red light it would be discharged. So this Fireboy brand is charged. The fire extinguisher itself is inside the engine room. I'll show you that in a few minutes. But if you do have a fuel fire or any fire in the engine room, you want to turn off the fuel. Looking in this locker, you can see there's supposed to be a fire extinguisher inside here. Open this door up, and it's not marked very well at all. Pull the garbage can out and you can see emergency fuel shutoff valve access. So to do that of course you have to open up this hatch. Remember we've got a fire. Open up the hatch. Then you've got to hunt inside here to find out where the valve is. I've already been in here and explored it. That's the valve right there. That little bitty black handle. That is the valve. You can see the hose is on top of the fuel tank, and that's the level gauge. That's the level gauge for the fuel tank on the port side. Again, that's the valve, that's the ground wire. So if that's on the port side, where is it on the starboard? Let's look over here. Open up this seat. And there's another hatch. Remember, this table's in my way. Let me get over here, open up the hatch. And again, with my flashlight, I've got to hunt for the valve. And I don't see it yet. Yes, I do. There it is. There's the valve right there. That's the fuel tank level gauge. That's the valve. So when you own a boat, it's important that you understand the firefighting protection systems that you have aboard your boat you can get to the emergency fuel shutoff valves. By the way, if this is a 40-foot boat, you can see how cramped it is. Let's go down into the engine room. There's two accesses. One is through this floor hatch, which you would do to check the oil every morning. And the other is this big back bench that's electrically operated with two big ramrods. Let me open this, pull it up. There's the engine room. Step inside, come on down. Now, if there's a fire, you're not going to be coming down here. But since you need to check your oil daily, you should also check your fire extinguisher and see if it's okay. Guess what? The person that installed this put the valve or the, the, the gauge way over there, and you're going to have to have a mirror to look at it. So I can't see it. So I don't know if this fire extinguisher is full or not full. It's right next to a fuel filter. In front of the engine, to the side of the generator, that's a Westerbeek generator. And some more electrical switches here. So if you're on a boat and you can't see if your fire extinguisher is full or empty, or needs to be recharged, need to get a mirror, need to include that in your daily inspections for oil, water and fuel filters. If you have questions about boating or safety, ask Captain Chris.